throwing some bunker bait today. I feel like doing that, see what we get. We definitely blues around. Uh, definitely are bluefish and but it could be anything else. So see what we get. Definitely bunker. Bunker bait. Big uh, 8 0 circle hook to start. A little freight on the bottom. I should should take that up my leader a little bit, but I'm gonna ride that just to see if we get a cast in those birds while they're here. Who knows how long they'll be here. Oh, he got him. He came in on that. That is definitely a blue. The line just went extremely flat. Could be that's what that's what those sharks tend to do. Whether we get them in or not. So I went to the big, big bait, big, big hooks. Hopefully we got a good hook set on them. But that, that's probably a blue. But that strike is characteristic of a shark. Yeah. This is hopefully make the day right here. We'll, we'll land this fish. You walk with him, you keep a little pressure off of him. And you see what he's about. Watching the birds. Oh, wow. That is enormous. That is a big shark. That is a big shark. I was right. Circle hook sometimes could be a pain. He's skinny. Jeez. I could have just dropped babies. With these things, it's like a wrestling thing. Pliers. Knows which way the water is. Bird's about to take my bunker. I'm going back over to a smaller circle. Maybe, maybe, maybe to the fluke. I don't know. Going back to the 80 circle. 50 pound mono. Shift it over. Um, shift it over a bit. I did decide to kind of stay where I'm about. And uh, we'll see. All right, something he got a little pull back to him. Definitely got some pull back. Got that circle in the good. See what he's doing. He's not running back and forth. to get a big old flu test. We better not going lighter for those. Like these little dark. Skate. So we're fighting through skates again. So that's how it goes. Probably, probably, probably lures definitely I think would be the better option today but you pick and choose when you head out ah yeah mama let's go let's go he's not letting me go let's go Tell you what, okay. if their bite don't get you the spikes on the back well. watch out. You got plain old hands, don't look you up. 
Yeah, you gotta be pretty good. Um, just be careful um, with everything. If that was a bluefish, forget about it. Be extra careful with those bluefish. You don't want any fish biting you. Um, I'm used to it. I kind of know how, but you know, sometimes some of them got a little stronger bite than others. Um, you know, Mother Nature got no respect for you, so you still got to respect Mother Nature. That's for sure. So just, just be extra, extra careful around any fish. Um, all these things are dangerous. Fishing is very dangerous. Always put your safety first. Put your safety in front of the fish. Put your safety in front of Mother Nature always. And always respect Mother Nature. Oh wow, so you've been watching that whole nest for a little? Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it like full time like I used to, so I'm just kind of filling in, so I don't know the whole backstory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's satisfying. He's, it's little, I'd but say, watched... like within the week it was born. So he got through that critical yeah. little time? We have a fledge down here who's like puffy and fat because I still have those baby feathers, but he looks like he's almost 28 days, so that's considered like, once he's hits 28 we're like you're good you're grown you're and done uh, yeah and the got... parents weren't around so he might even be a little older because i think they're like he's good that critical period yeah yeah but you watch there was like four of them that you followed kind of and then there was like we watch around. all the nests oh so if you're yeah. not here someone else is yeah, here yeah and exactly so i'm just data. i feed it into like a database yeah oh, oh. i get updated on um oh. all right find out what this is about cast them short. Definitely got heads and got that hook up. Oh, a little smaller, smaller bait. That's the thing. The sea robin. Skate. No telling. Sea robin. Okay. We got a little change in ocean. The sea robins. You gotta be careful with these things too. All kinds of spikes, horns, everything on them. Bunker bait today, uh, definitely think that there's bluefish around, but I use the bait for my own fishing report. I bait fish to get my own fishing report. Foggy, foggy day out, this is a big one. He's coming. Oh, it's a blue or a bass. Beautiful jump. Wow, we got him. We got him. It's a good fish. We got him. Had to fish through a ton of stuff. Let's get him in. It's a big one. Wow, he's gurgling, he's gurgling. Look at his head. It's a bass, is it a bull? Here he comes. Wow, that's a big ball. That's a good slammer. So we had to fish through a bunch of stuff. That's what I was looking for. These things are wild, be careful. Good hooks it on the jaw. These circles are tricky. Just be careful. That's what we came for. The God, wow! He is boy. He's full of adrenaline. Let's get him on his way to blue. So you can grab him by their tail. One hand up around its head. That is why we got him. Had to fish through a bunch of stuff, but that's all about bait fishing. And we took it. keep an eye on him. He took off strong, he's gonna be just fine. So always check your leader. You see that it's all chewed up. So you want to get him in quick. Eventually he'll gnaw through that. I am going to retie just right up the leader. Um, my circle hook. Three's fine. I pulled through about five times. Snell. I'm going to bait up again. That's how it goes, you know, when you're bait fishing. 
Oh, you're going to fight through, you know, not fight through, it's enjoyable. Catching all kinds of other stuff and you're going to get surprises in between. So I'm a uh, bunker bait fishing today. And these are not the biggest bunker. So I went back to the smaller, smaller 8 hook. I wanted to work a 10, but you work with like a fisherman. You know, you, you can... Ah, that was a good hit. This is, this is, um, it's chipped. So yeah. you're gonna keep on breaking. Okay. But what I do is crush, crush yeah. the plastic, the ceramic. Yeah. Use the metal for the day. You'll get it. Oh, use some metal, it's okay with, too. Yeah, the, oh. whatever's there, but take this out. Yeah, take it out. Take it out. And then? Fish through the day, and then bring it back to the store tomorrow. That's a good bite. That's a good blue. That's a good blue. That's a chomper. That's the one we've been waiting for. Oh, we got 50 pound liters, so monofilament. I don't know if we're getting them in. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure he's a blue. He's coming up. What's he doing? What is he doing? Big fish though. That is something to me. Maybe he's a striper. He's taking more runs. I doubt that's a shark. But I'm looking to see if I can see flashes, then I can tell. But it's kind of gray out. He's a big one. He's got the circle in him. He's still taking line. I don't like the feel. Of, I don't like when that sinker bounces. He's going to the right, went to the left. Trying to see if I could see a, a big flash. I want to walk with him. This way he's coming in. Can you reduce your pressure when you walk with him? He's definitely a big guy. Took some great runs. Could be a big bass, I don't know. Big shark. But he's something big and good. He's definitely something big and good. Double time it on him. He's turning to the left. Whoa! Oh, he's a big shark. Wow. He's a big shark. Mm. He didn't come up for any jumps. Maybe we're pulling a blue behind him. That's how it's been. Get ready for it. That. That's a big guy. Right there. Let's get him up. That's a big shark. I think he's a big balloon. Some great runs. Oh, we got the line up. These things are wild, so they got, they got some muscle in them. them down you don't pin them down and you don't want to pin them down too hard you don't want to hurt the fish there's some sort of an equilibrium point that you kind of have to adhere to let's get him on that's a good boy keep an eye on him make sure he turns those sharks tend to come in Oh, 
just make sure they swim out. Once they swim out, be fine. All right, let's bait up here. We still got time for something else. Uh, I want to talk when you're handling fish like that, they're wild. So you really, you kind of have to pin them down. Use some of your, they're, they're fighting back. Just like those sharks, bluefish, stripe. They're fighting back. You have to give them a little bit of a pin. If you don't do that, then you're just not going to get that grass. There's some ways to do it for different fish. Sharks are kind of wrangle them, turn them over again between my legs and um, get that hook out. But you don't want to go too hard on the fish. You don't want to crush any, you don't want to hurt their internal organs. You don't want to um, bruise their muscles. Um, unnecessarily uh, wipe off any scales. But at the same time, you have to hit it with some kind of delicate approach. Um, and each fish, each scenario is ever changing, especially depending on how you hook them, what you're using, what you're doing. But something to keep in mind, you want to be soft on the fish, but you want to maintain control. And it varies time after time after time, depending on how you do it, what you're using, how you hook them, where you hook them, how you get them out, the weather, the water. It's just the variables are normal. But use minimum pressure uh, for maximum results. You don't want to use too much pressure. Um, but sometimes you absolutely have to, depending on the conditions. It's just the way it is. That's how fishing is. It's, it's just an array. Everything is an array. I gotta foil those bushes. The reel I'm using today, that's the Jigmaster 500. It's almost like the Squitter. Same design, a little bit, mostly. Um, got a slightly faster gear ratio of bushes and no anti reverse switch. But, uh, get that bait in a little quicker. Right, I got a few baits left. The sun's setting. I think we'll make it till it's dusk. But, uh, it's been a while since we had something good. A lot of rough fish. Um, a lot of skates. and Definitely a lot of skates. And but, uh, I'm going to throw out some more baits. Oh, it's a sea robin. Something different. Maybe there's something behind him. He's got to be careful with. They got all kinds of spines. Um, don't handle fish like me. Definitely be careful. Got all kinds of pokers, spines. You don't hold them right, you're going to poke a hole right through your bone. So be careful with those. So bunker bait fish, and the sharks are just eating all the bait now. I have a few good pieces to go, so I'm gonna fish it through. I want to show you something you can do with the heads, but the bite wasn't fast enough. So I'm definitely I'm gonna fish until the bait, well, the regular bait's done. I'm gonna set it up, take a few more casts. The sharks seem to take over, uh, but we got that bluefish we were looking for. We got a few more baits. Um, fish through everything. Uh, the sharks, the robins, tons of skates came through. Had that big blue. We might have had another runoff. Um, we'll come down, probably fish on top of it and pull out some blue fish too. But I just enjoyed the day fishing the bait. So thanks for watching. All right. Ooh. I think. Oh. He might be a blue, he's really running quick. He is a blue. Oh, he was a blue, he broke us off. All right. That was the last bait too. So. That's it. Yeah. 